All right, let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Um, this one um, about the Browns and, and the coaching staff. Yeah, my name is Andy, calling from South Carolina, lifelong Browns fan. I got two comments on the situation for the Jets game. Stefanski is way underperforming. He's got an offensive coordinator on staff. He should let that offensive coordinator call the plays. And defensive coordinator Joe Woods needs to pack his bags and head out of town. I've been watching him do this shit for the last three years, and I'm tired of it. We cannot be going back and forth, back and forth. You're giving up to over 24 points a game. You're not doing your job. you got to go. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Fred, um, as far as the play calling goes, they're averaging 28 points with their backup quarterback. Um, I'm not quite sure what giving play calling duties up to Alex Van Pelt would do. And I understand some of the frustration with Joe Woods, but – I think the players got to play. <laughs> That's, the bottom line is you've got a talented secondary that hasn't played well. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I mean, I've looked at some of the film with some of our film analysts at the OBR.com, and, and uh, they break it down, even in that Panthers game, that there was plays there that the scheme was not the problem. It was reset, you know, missed the throws, you know, to Kareem Hunt and Amari Cooper – you know, two probably easy touchdowns. And so I do think that if anything, it would be the other things. Like at the end of the game, there's been a lot of talk about the management of the clock with Nick Chubb. First of all, if, if anybody's blaming Nick Chubb, they're out of their mind. I mean, this guy's the heart and soul of the team. And I don't know how you can expect him to you know, when he's designed to go full go to get in the end zone. But that's another topic. But on Stefanski, if he's too busy calling plays to not know, boy, I should have been thinking of that situation. If you take that away from him and all you worry about is the time management and when do I call timeout, when do I do here, I think that frees him up a lot. And, and even special teams, you know, where he can manage – the overall operation instead of turning it over to Joe Woods. I know he trusts him, but even on defense, he goes to Joe Woods and says, I don't care what you're doing. This is what we're doing. He kind of lets them do their own thing and he's got to insert himself a little more or he's going to, you know, he's going to live and die with those decisions. But I think maybe some of the big picture decisions especially like we we're talking about end of game time management. If you didn't have to worry about calling the plays, you know, that would make it easier. Alex Van Pelt showed, you know, I think they put up 48 points in that game. He called in the playoff game with the Steelers, something like that. And so I think he knows what he's doing as well. So all things being said, I kind of agree that it's time for Stefanski to give up some of his role and look at the big picture and manage that.